Hi, my name's Tony Oakshot and I make wedding pens. Um, I've got a couple of videos on YouTube of some finished pens that I made for my daughter and my nephew and I've had quite a few messages asking me how they're made and what do I use. So I thought I'd show you the sort of things that I put into the pens and then at a later date I'll show you how I actually make them. I don't know how I'm going to do that video because they take so long I may have to do it in sections but we'll see, we'll see. But basically I use a pen kit and the preferred pen kit I use is the Roman Harvest pen. Um, the reason I use the Roman Harvest pen is because when the, the pen's put together the distance between where the tube fits on and the edge of the pen is quite deep so you can you can get some half mil thick um, items put into the put onto the tube and then cover it with acrylic and it's it's all secured and safe in there um, also the the pen is a really really nice pen it's got a lot of detail on it it's, it's quite fancy um, they're a little bit expensive I think they're about 20 Australian dollars but by the time you put postage as well it comes out to about 30 um, Australian dollars about 25 pound UK so that's the, the pen kit I use the Roman Harvest um, then what I do is I get the tube and I paint the tube and then I start sticking bits and pieces on top um, I usually start with a watch face this one I've I've already bent and once it's painted I'll pop that on there and I'll obviously put hands on the the watch for the time of the the wedding um, and then it's a case of looking for things that will fit on now these little things are what I make the, the little silver flowers with I think they're actually called jewelry findings oh, they're very tiny they're actually about four millimeters across and one millimeter thick so what I do is I get myself a file and I take the the finding if I can pick it up I really need my glasses for this lay it onto the file like so and then spend an hour or so just rubbing it up and down the file up and down up and down until you eventually get the right thickness that you want um, and I suggest half a millimeter once I've got the right thickness I then want to put some Swarovski crystals these are SS5s and they're about 1.8 millimeters wide um, they're very very tiny I do need glasses and a magnifying glass and probably binoculars would be a good idea as well um, I put these little stones inside the centers of the the flowers um, the centers of the flowers um, the findings are are a little bit small to take these so I use a um, a small needle file similar to this one and I simply put the put the finding on the end of it and then just keep twisting and twisting and twisting and twisting and twisting and then keep offering up a, a crystal to the center of it to make sure that it it fits inside so those are then the findings are then stuck onto the tube obviously after it's been painted and then the crystals are then are then stuck inside a little hole in the center of the finding um, now with the Swarovski crystals they're foil backed it's very important that you use gem tack if you try to do it with super glue that will melt the foil on the back of the crystal and you'll get no reflection from it at all and it doesn't look very nice at all so make sure you use gem tack I think it's about two pounds for a, a little tiny bottle that will probably do a million crystals the other things I put into the pens um, obviously you need things that are very very small and very thin now I don't particularly like shopping for these so I buy them online 
it doesn't look good a biker going into a, a girl's nail shop but these things here are what they call nail art or uh, nail accessories and they're basically little stickers that girls put on their fingernails now there's little crossies and butterflies and things like that and there's there's a whole range of stuff you can you can get I've got some tiny little hearts there that can peel off I also use another type which are water decals and these are just little sort of like stickers you cut them out you drop them in a bowl of water for 30 seconds um, take them out you can slide the the image off of the um, backing card and slide it onto your pen and once you put it onto your pen you need to put a bit of um, see-through nail varnish over the top of it just to make sure it doesn't dry up and peel off again um, and the final thing that I use for my pens is a, another sticky product and they're called peel-offs you can buy these on eBay they cost about a pound a pack and basically you get them on sheets like this and they they literally do just peel off I haven't got my glasses on so I'm not going to be able to peel them off but oh, there you go this one is uh, champagne glasses and wedding rings or something it's not a very good picture there and another type I use is this one now this I don't know what it's called or if there's a number for it you, you may have to try and find it you can see I've obviously used some of it from here um, but basically it looks like that it's just uh, let me try and get that somewhere where you can see it um, as I say once the pens painted the tubes are painted you can then stick that on and then you can put your flowers in between the little spaces or your hearts or whatever you want. So that's the sort of things that you're going to require. Obviously, once you've completed your, your pens, put all of your items on, you're going to need to set it in some sort of epoxy or acrylic. And I use easy cast clear, clear cast and epoxy. There's no particular reason why I use it. It's just available in sort of hobby shops or eBay or wherever. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see if we can't get a couple of videos up soon, um, going through the process, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to make a few and show me what you've managed to create. Um, there's there's no right or wrong way of doing it. There's no so like rules on what you need to put in them I usually ask um, whoever's getting married I ask them what their favorite things are and they usually say dogs music or whatever and I try to theme the pen around the uh, the happy couples um, likes uh, another thing I do use is earrings um, obviously they're very tiny these ones are a little bit big because they're too too wide I don't think I'll be able to rub these down thin enough um, but you can buy little silver uh, charms and things um, but as long as you can rub them down to about one mil maybe 0.5 of a mil um, an ideal uh, type of earring is the the baby's ear studs you know the little you get a little uh, earring with a, a pin on the back for babies they are always really really tiny and you can usually fit them into the pens so watch this space and we'll see what comes up next. Thanks for watching. Bye.